immune system challenges will look like things like inflammation. And when we say a lot of disease caused by inflammation, it's true because inflammation is actually an immune system response. People think inflammation is like a boo-boo on their elbow, like you twist your ankle, ankle's inflamed, it hurts, it's swollen. That is an immune system response when you twist your ankle. So if you have inflammation, that can be felt as pain, but it can also be felt as just joint issues. In fact, you can feel inflammation in any part of the body. So for example, inflammation in the brain is perceived as brain fog. So when you feel foggy and there's a haze, you can't think through it, usually because the brain is inflamed, so you, you, you are reducing the neuron-to-neuron -neuron conductivity of electrical signal between brain cells. You can also have things like um, chronic infection. Chronic infection will be things that you, know, you catch, but you don't ever clear them. Right? If you can't clear an infection, you have immune suppression of some sort. So that's an immune system challenge. So if you, the brain immune gut axis dysfunction can also result in things like autoimmunity. So as the name implies, auto means self. So autoimmune is automatically an immune system problem, no matter what the actual diagnosis is. Scleroderma, Hashimoto's, celiac disease, MS, rheumatoid arthritis, doesn't matter what you want to diagnose it as. Remember, don't hang on the diagnosis. That's one of the belief system barriers. It's the fact that it's autoimmune, right? It's the immune system. So the target for any kind of autoimmune disease is really the immune system and how to modulate it rather than, oh, you have rheumatoid arthritis, so we're going to give you some joint treatment. No, the, 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 the intervention is focused on the immune system. You can also have food sensitivities or chemical sensitivity. So consider food sensitivity as an immune system response, not a GI problem. Because a lot of people think food sensitivity is a GI problem. Yes, what, how you fix that might be elimination of certain food that you're sensitive to, to begin with, and then maybe healing leaky gut, but the sensitivity itself is an immune system response. So if you have multiple sensitivities to multiple foods, you got an immune system problem, which may be part of this brain immune gut, gut axis dysfunction. Okay? So these are signs that tell you that you have an immune system problem,